Night at Desmond Hall. And the great house is enveloped in ominous darkness. There is only one star in an otherwise starless sky. It is an evil star, for when it appears in the heavens, Jean-Paul Desmond, the master of Desmond Hall, is the victim of a curse. A curse that compels him to kill. On this night, he has locked himself in a tower room, believing he is safe. But one curious man has found him. And with this discovery, a new reign of terror will begin. Why are you here, cousin? Why are you locked in this room? I can't tell you that. Can't tell me or won't. Have it either way. Just go. Then why are you so frightened? Don't ask for an explanation. I am asking. You're here because of the Desmond curse, aren't you? John Paul, what is that curse? If you knew, you would leave. I now. am not leaving here until you answer my questions. The Desmond curse will not affect you, only me. You still haven't answered my question. Philip, please, will you go? Please, please. No. No, I'm not leaving here. You must know that. Rexel! Rexel! She can't hear you, Jean Paul. If you'd only listen to me, Fernando. What's wrong? What are you doing? Why didn't you answer me? What's happened to you? What's wrong? Destroy me. Killed you. You sound as if you're talking about somebody else. Do I? Why did you do it? Listen, I shall try not to harm you again, but just get out of this room. Not until you answer my question. Why did you do it? I, I didn't know what I was doing. You call that an explanation? It's the only explanation I can give. Now go. I almost believe you went mad for a moment. The expression on your face was a look of pure insanity. Perhaps I am insane. Are you? Or are you under the influence of some evil that you can't control? Perhaps both. Is this part of the Desmond curse? How can you stand there talking to me? Aren't you afraid? My totem protects me. Let me see your hand. There was something there. 
A mark of some kind, but it's disappeared now. I've answered enough questions. It's part of the curse, isn't it? All right, Jean Paul, you needn't tell me anymore. Where are you going? To call the police. Will you tell them that I'm cursed? I'll tell them you tried to kill me. Remember, it's your word against mine. Are you planning to lie? I'm not planning anything. My fate is in your hands now. together. I saw you go. Philip came back. He wanted to persuade Jean-Paul to change his mind and come with us. I told him not to, but he wouldn't listen to me. Haven't you seen him? No. Well, that's odd. Where could he be? Oh, he must be in the house somewhere. I'll go and find him. So will I. I don't understand, Philip. This isn't like him. Is it possible? Could anything have happened to him? Well, anything's possible. But what could have happened? And why isn't he here? Where could he possibly be? You refuse. I cannot tell you any more. All right. Perhaps Raxel can tell me. All right, then question Raxel. Call the police. Do anything you want. It doesn't matter anymore. Don't you care what happens to you? I gave up caring a long time ago. I'll lock the door behind me. I'll be back later. With the police? With the police. I'll be ready. What are you going to say to them? I'm sorry, cousin. But you shall have to wait for the answer to that question. So here you are. I didn't see you come up. I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing at the tower room? No one ever comes here. Well, I was just looking for something. But, but what about you? I, I thought you'd gone out for the evening. Well, I met Emily and Susan in town. They were waiting for you. You were supposed to meet them. Where are they now? Downstairs. Emily's been very worried about you. Oh, uh, would you mind telling them that I'm all right and that I'll be down in a minute? What's happened? Oh. Where did you get the marks? Slight accident. What kind of an accident? Well, nothing serious. Do you mind telling her I'll, I'll be down in a minute? Hmm? All right. Where did you get that? From the vase. I saw you hide it there. Why are you spying on me? I heard you and Jean-Paul talking. I heard him ask you to take him to the tower. And I saw you go there. You did not go in there, did you? Yes, I did. What? What did Jean-Paul say to you? He tried to kill me. No. Raxel, I know the truth. What do you know? I know that Jean-Paul is cursed, and that his curse forces him to kill. It is not my master. 
It is the evil demons that possess him. My master is an innocent man. How was he cursed? He did not tell you. I want you to tell me. It, it happened at Maljardin. He made a pact with the powers of darkness. Why? Erica was dead. More than anything in this life, my master wanted her to return. And so he made a pact. She returned. But she brought the powers of darkness with her. And what happened to Erica? She returned to the land of the dead when Maljardin burned. And the curses remained with Jean-Paul. Oh, he tries to fight it. That is why he ordered me to lock him in the tower room. Raxel, look at me and tell me the truth. Has Jean-Paul killed before? Is he a murderer? What did he tell you? I'm asking you. He, uh, he did not kill you. You managed to escape. But there were others. But what about that girl that lived here before, uh, Agatha Pruitt? Did he kill her? I do not know. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. I do not know what happened to that girl. That is the truth. Is there a way to end the curse? Oh, I've tried. But obviously failed. There must be a way. But you haven't found it yet. Raxel, don't you understand that everybody in this house is in danger as long as Jean-Paul is free? What are you going to do? The only thing I can do, go to the police. What will you tell them? There's no proof that my master is a murderer. He tried to kill me. He should be judged insane and put away where he can't do anybody any harm. You can't do that to him. I can't endanger other people, innocent people, because we want him to go free. Oh, you can help him. He needs your help. How? You can help him as I help him. Guard him, protect him from the evil demons that, that control him. And risk the lives of everyone here in this house. He has never harmed anyone in this house. Not yet, but he might. <sighs> You think by putting my master in prison that that will end the curse? If you do, you are wrong. What do you mean? My master could die, but the curse would continue. How? It passes from generation to generation. If my master dies, it will pass on to the next male Desmond, the one with the closest blood ties to my master. Court? Yes. And if he dies, it will pass on to you. How do you know this? I know. But how do I know you're telling the truth? I don't. Raxel, I know you'd say anything to save Jean-Paul. That is true. But you must consider what I have just told you. You have no other choice. Where are you going? Downstairs to think. Yes. Think. And then decide what you must do. He was coming from the tower. The tower? It's at the top of the house. We keep it locked. Nobody ever goes there. You didn't really explain why he was coming from there. I thought I had. I was looking for a book. In the tower? Well, I searched all over the house. I never did find it. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. That's all right. But what happened to you? Where did you get those marks? Well, I had a slight accident. I, I slipped and fell down the stairs. Were you badly hurt? No, not at all. But that's what delayed me. Did you call the doctor? No, no, that's not necessary. I'm all right. But I am sorry I spoiled your evening. Have you eaten? No. We were waiting for you. Oh, I do apologize. But you must eat. Surely there, there must be something in the kitchen. Susan's in there now looking for something. Well, Court, would you mind helping Susan? You know the kitchen better than she does. What book were you looking for? The River Caves of Desmonton. Here it is. <laughs> I didn't see it. How foolish of me. 
Let's get this straight. You're up in the tower looking for a book, and Emily and Susan were in their town waiting for you. Well, I didn't think I'd have to search so long for it. I thought I'd find it right away. Well, why did you want to find it? What's so important about a book? So many questions. Can't we talk later? So that you can think of some answers. Now, why would I lie to you? I don't know. Why would you? Court, uh, go in the kitchen and help Susan. I'll be with you in a minute. Do I have to take orders from my house guests in my house? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. I would like to talk to Philip for a moment. Well, go ahead. Maybe you can get some truth out of him. Go ahead and good luck. I know there's something going on. I wish you'd tell me about it. I've told you all I can tell you. But... I'm afraid I'll have to agree with Court. None of it makes any sense. Emily, do you trust me? Yes, I do. Then don't ask any questions right now, because I can't give you the answers. Well, when can you answer them? When I make a decision. About what? I can't tell you. I just have to ask you to trust me and go along with me. And I'll tell you everything as soon as the right time comes. Right now, I... I just have to think. All right, Philip. I guess I can't argue with you. I'll be in the kitchen if you need me. from generation to generation. It does not end with you. But that isn't true. It might be. You do not know. What did he say? He said he would think. That is all. Do you think he may change his mind about calling the police? I believe he will. I believe that he will protect you until the curse is broken. The curse will never be broken. Oh, don't give up hope, Master. If Philip decides to help you... How can I expect him to help me for the rest of his life? How can I expect you or anybody... Well, there, may, there, there may be a way to end the curse. You have said that a hundred times before. Now, have you found a way? No, but that doesn't mean to say that I won't. Oh, it's pointless going on hoping like this. Hoping for something that will never, ever happen. Don't say that, Master. Raxel, last night I survived. And today I had some hope. And then tonight the star appeared again and the agony was worse than ever before. Now the star may again appear tomorrow night, and the night after that, and the night after that, until I either go mad or I kill again. Now I would rather die or spend the rest of my life in prison than to face a future like that. I don't know what you're saying, Master. I do know what I am saying. This cannot go on. If Philip doesn't call the authorities, I will. How long are you going to stay here? I don't have plans. Well, why did you come here? What do you want? Or were you just looking for a place to live? No, I just live wherever I am. You have a very maddening habit of not answering questions. Well, I'll answer. at me like that for? I just saw... Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. I thought you'd gone to bed. Oh, I just saw something really strange. What? 
I was just talking to Court, and then all of a sudden I, I saw something on his face. I don't know, it was a, a sign of some kind. A sign? Yeah. I don't know what it was, but I saw it. Well, what did it look like? Well, here, I'll show you. You saw this? Yeah, just for a minute. And then it just disappeared. I don't know what it means. No. Don't do it. I beg you, don't. Give me the police.